Hi folks, here's a little idea I want to share with you. It's something I've been doing with students lately and uh, it's just an exercise. It's kind of the nuts and bolts of music. It's not really music, but it kind of is. It's called patterns. I've called it box exercises simply because, well, you'll see. So here's the first part. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> So I'm doing hold one blow, hold two blow, then hold two draw, then hold one draw. So you go blow, slide, draw, slide. See what I mean? And then you try and speed it up. And then you migrate it up the instrument. So now we're going to start the same pattern but on hole two. And now on hole three. And you could get a kind of rhythm going with that. And then you go all the way up the instrument. And what, what's happening is you're using the, the, the simple patterns, the physical movements on the instrument. And you're kind of, you're seeing what music comes out from it. So you're looking at the, whatever can come from the harmonica at its uh, most basic, the easiest for you to play. It's like uh, on a piano, if you just did that, that'd be kind of the easiest thing to do. On a harmonica, the easiest thing to do is you know, you, you give a give a harmonica to a kid first thing. So it's adapting that. So we're looking at the harmonica, playing it in the easiest way we can, and seeing what musical patterns develop from it. So that's the that's the two box. So it's just hole one or the first hole you choose from. Go breathe out, go to the next one, breathe in, come back to the first one. Then you migrate it all the way up the instrument. And uh, use any instrument you want. Doesn't matter. Try different. That was a G, let's try a, a D now. And so on. Now let's try the opposite. So you start with the draw one, draw two, then blow two, blow one. how when you get up to hole six seven how it changes is really quite interesting okay so that's the two box here's the three box so it's one two three breathing out then three two one breathing in And so on. Then you so you migrate it all the way up, then you try reversing it. So that's the that's the patterns, that's the uh, box patterns. Now here's um, a four box. So 
So have a go at these exercises, see what you think, let me know. I quite like them. They're not obviously the whole thing, they're not exactly tunes, but I think I'm not quite sure what what they're doing for you, but uh, maybe you can figure that out. They're, they're forcing you to be very accurate about what holes you choose. They're allowing you to, to open your ears and see what music comes, and it'll stick. If you like it, you'll remember it. Um, and it lets you play... Um, how's the best way of putting it? It's, it's quite hard to coordinate moving the harmonica in rhythm and the breath control as well. So breathing out, do 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 do, breathing in, do 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 do, all in rhythm. So have a go at it, see what you think. This is part one. There's a lot more to come on this subject. I will torture you with some more. So this is this is box patterns video number one, and there'll be plenty more. Okay, see you later.